hello youtube welcome back to my video so in this video we are going to check how to uh, create a qr code using java and how to read a qr code using java okay so with a simple example we'll be checking how you can create a uh, qr code and how you can read the same qr code which you have generated using java okay so let me create a, a new java project in my eclipse ide so this is my eclipse ide if you don't have your eclipse ide i've got the description i have another video for that so let me create a java project so i'm selecting java select next and i'm uh, uh, creating uh, the project name as qr read and write sorry first we'll be writing and then we'll be reading okay so write read and all others i'm putting it as default and just click finish okay now uh, let me create go inside and create a new uh, package inside and the given the package name as com.chillyfax.com and uh, here inside this one first i'm going to create uh, the class to create the qr code so it's like create a qr okay now just click finish so the create qr uh, dot java has been created now i have already uh, tried and tested the code uh, for creating uh, the qr code i'm gonna copy paste this one in this uh, class and i'll explain how it works so i'm just pasting that code here yes this is the code to create the qr code so i have set uh, the uh, content i mean the data of the qr code as www.chillyfax.com and the file part is uh, in d drive uh, in uh, in a folder qr code it will generate the qr code as chillyfax.png now we have to uh, import or add uh, two jars in the build part which uh, uh, the aps which we are using is uh, the, uh, known as the z -Xing. so we have to add the, uh, the two jars inside uh, this uh, uh, java class i mean uh, the build part so to add it just go to the build part and just go to configure build part where you can see in the library section the java build part library section uh, uh, you can see the add external jar just click on that and navigate to the location where you have your uh, jar saved now uh, my jars is in uh, downloads uh, in this folder now i'm going to select these two jars and select open and now it will be added to your class path and just press ok so all the errors will be gone and uh, your code is uh, ready to test okay so as i told the uh, output will be generated in a d qr code and as uh, chillyfax.png now let's try uh, running this uh, java program now to run this just right click on uh, the code and just select run as java application and as you can see here uh, the code has been generated so the QR data of our code will be this one and uh, this generated in this folder and we have set uh, the height and width of uh, the QR code as 200 200 pixels now let's go to this folder and check the output here it is the code is generated so if i'm trying to open this one the code is generated with uh, the data chillyfax.com now to verify uh, the data of this one let's try uh, reading this online so i have just searched read qr code online there is a website zexing uh, decoder online the, the same api which we have used now just open that where you can upload your file and read it okay so let me choose my file if i just go to choose file and in d drive it's in qr code chillyfax png and just submitting this let's see what is output coming here it is so the past result is chillyfax.com okay so we have just generated and read it online now we'll go and check how you can read using the java code itself okay now uh, i'm going to create a new class the class name i'm giving it as uh, read qr and uh, i have tested uh, some code to read qr uh, so i am just copy pasting the code here and i'll explain how it works yes i have just uh, pasted uh, the code to read a qr code using java so this is the path we have to set so i have already set it as the chillyfax.png the same one 
uh, which uh, we have just created now now let's right click and just run uh, the program let's see what's output coming here it is so the data from the qr code has been read as www.chillyfax.com okay so it's read uh, successfully now let's try an online uh, sample qr and let's uh, read it using the same code which have uh, created now a search sample qr so i got a lot of sample qr codes let's see let's take any one of that and read using the code so i'm going to select the first one is surf let's see what is the content inside i'm going to save this image in our path qr code so let me save in the same location and i'm giving it as 11.png okay so i have just saved in our T drive and the folder is QR code. So here it is 11.png. Now let's copy the name and come back to our code and paste the, uh, the name here. And let's try running this as a run as Java application. And let's see. Yes, it has given me a link to a YouTube video. So it is uh, the content of that QR code is actually a YouTube video. Now let's try one more. I'm going to the same. I'm randomly selecting any one of that. Just uh, save in the same location and replace the other one as 11.png. And now let's back get back to the code. Now let's uh, try running this. So if I'm running this one, yes, it's uh, uh, taking to another website. So the content of that QR code is a website name. Okay. So I have just added two more class. So the reason why I added this one is to demonstrate how you can take dynamically data from MySQL database and create the QR code for that. Okay. So the uh, the Java classes which I have added is the DB connection dot Java and the dynamic uh, QR dot Java. So DB connection uh, dot Java is uh, simply a connection class. So it's uh, getting connection to my uh, MySQL database named test. So this is the connection class which we need to get connection to MySQL uh, database. If you don't know about this one, I have another video for that. Just go to my videos. You can have it and uh, in this is the dynamic qr.java where i am just taking uh, i am querying to get all the values from the uh, table links okay now i will show you my mysql data so uh, uh, this is my mysql database so mysql uh, mysql client is this one i have this much databases is my in my mysql so there is a database named test so inside there is the inside that there is a table named links so the links have data this data for data uh, the first column is the serial number second column is the links so we are going to create the qr code for all these links from uh, this code okay so i have just created a db connection take the db connection and query to take all the values and i am iterating all the values here so each time it is calling a generate qr uh, method here generate qr is a so we have to pass the image name and the qr data so image name we are setting as a serial number which is this one and the qr uh, data is the uh, links okay so the link we pass is the data so it will create the qr code for all that links and it will be uh, created in this folder so if i run this uh, program it will iterate all the data here four times and create four uh, QR codes with a, a serial number one two three four. Okay, now let's try running. Okay, you have to add uh, the MySQL connector jar to your uh, class path same way which we have added these two. Okay, now let's try running this one to run this just go to run as uh, Java application and let's wait to get all the program run. Here it is. Yes, it has called the QR created or uh, the create QR uh, method four times. Now let's go to the folder and see what is the output there. Here it is. It has created for one, two, three, four PNG and each is having its own uh, data. So if you read this, uh, if you try to read it, it will be same as uh, the link from the database. Okay. So through this, I have shown you how to take, uh, how to create dynamic. Uh, QR code taking data from MySQL database. Hope you got this. If you have any doubt in this, please comment below. I'll be helping you. I'll share all my source code uh, in my description. You can have it. 
and uh, please like and subscribe for my videos and uh, thanks for watching